Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with your water. You may notice a slight change of smell or taste. That's because it's time for the yearly change of the disinfectant in our water system. Monday, March 6th through Monday, April 3rd, is when the North Texas Municipal Water District will perform the change. All cities on the district system undergo maintenance at the same time. Ammonia is removed from the disinfection process. Without ammonia, the chlorine in the water may be more noticeable, but the amount is consistent with levels year round. Now there are a few things you can do. Fill a pitcher of water and place it in your fridge overnight. This allows chlorine to dissipate. Add a slice of citrus or cucumber to a glass of water for a few hours or add a crushed 1,000 milligram vitamin C tablet to bath water only if your skin is sensitive. The water district and city test the water throughout the year and during the 28-day period. You can drink the tap water, it's safe. For additional information, visit ntmwd.com slash safewater or plano.gov slash water. The city is looking for school crossing guards for several locations across Plano. Do you have a basic understanding of pedestrian motor vehicle traffic regulations? This paid part-time position is not only fun, it helps keep you active. You only work on school days, which means no weekends or holidays required. Seniors are welcome to apply. Just apply online at plano.gov jobs. A portion of 10th Street in East Plano will soon see $4.5 million in improvements. That section is from N Avenue to Jupiter Road. The contractor is replacing more than 3,500 feet of pavement, sidewalks, driveways, barrier-free ramps, and another 1,300 feet of water line. The current drainage system along 10th Street is undersized, resulting in minor flooding during heavy rains. Additional pipes and inlets will be added to the closed drainage system to eliminate those flooding issues. Plano City Council members approved the recommendation of 86 properties for heritage tax exemptions. The heritage tax exemption allows property owners to reinvest in the maintenance and long-term preservation of historic structures. Based on current property values and tax rates, this equates to approximately $68,000 in city taxes and a total estimated exemption of $285,000 from the three participating tax entities, the city, PISD, and Collin College. The actual value of the tax exemptions is not final until the taxing entities set their 2023 tax rates and the values of the properties are determined by the Collin Central Appraisal District. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week. Hi, Plano. Steve Stoller here. If you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. This is Plano's official YouTube channel, and subscribing keeps you up to date. If you're interested in learning more about Plano, click here to watch more news from the city.